G'day fellas, and welcome to a casted game. Sporting in on the south side of the map. Currently rank 31 on the ladder, playing the English as the colour teal. It's fresh air. And in the north of the map, playing in the colour pink, currently rank 30 on the ladder. It's Fate Chan on the Abbasid Dynasty. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Prairie. We're here watching two of the world's top players go up against each other. Now, I don't think I've seen fresh air before, I'll be honest. Well, I mean, I've, I've been outside. I know what fresh air feels like. I just haven't seen this player before. And I, I, I'm sure I can already <laughs> I can sense the comments like, Drongo, you need to touch grass, my friend. It's been a long time since I've been outside. I'll be honest with you guys, but I kind of like it that way. Anyway, uh, we got ourselves a little bit of an opening, a familiar opening, if anything. But uh, notably, the uh, the barracks is a little bit late. I mean, that's the consequence of going for one one uh, one villager building the barracks. Is it, it is your men at arms is going to come in a little bit late. And, Immediately we see Fresh Air moving over to the other side of the map, looking to try and find that gold and apply some pressure to Faye on this north side. So I'm curious how she's going to go about the defense, and we already do here. I'm not going to say the sound or the onomatopoeia of the word, uh, or the onomatopoeia of the sound that is made when the gold is hit. Uh, but uh, because the last time I did, I actually got, um, I'm not kidding, I got demonetized for it. And yes, what happened was, uh, was th they were like, that's a racial slur. You've used a racial slur in a video. I'm like, bro, I was describing the sound of, of metal hitting metal. And they're like, that is a racial slur. I'm like, no, it's not. <laughs> no, it's don't. But anyway, uh, so uh, th that's, you, you hear the sound. Let's go with that. You hear the sound of the gold being gathered here in Faye. Now going to have to uh, make a decision. Do I collect all the gold that I need right now? Or do I... Do I come back later? And I think the answer is definitely going to be I'm collecting all the gold that I need right now because she's going to be able to click up to the next stage. And look at this. Really smart move and interesting play by Faye. Uh, just actually saying, I'm just going to gather up my gold and then I'll come back and deal with the food later. So pretty smart move by Faye. And I like this. And I, I guess this is probably going to be where the trend lies for a lot of people going up against the English. Just simply because they do look for that early rush with the men at arms. But uh, I'm curious to see, you know, had Fresh Air gone for that slightly faster barracks, was it likely that uh, that Faye was in a bit of trouble? I suspect maybe. I mean, she can always just go up to the north and, and look to take this gold vein, but then it kind of complicates things, doesn't it? Like, she's already on straggler trees at the moment. You don't really want to... Yeah, it, it, it kind of ruins everything if you go do that, so... It can be tough. It can be tough knowing uh, knowing what to do. But anyway, let's take a look do over at uh, Fresh Air's base though and see exactly what's going on. A lot of villagers on wood. Not a single villager on gold just yet. I would expect that probably we're going to be seeing like a mill come down. W with this many villas, you'd think like a mill with farms. But then a mill with farms doesn't really make sense to me because it's like, well, we're playing prairie. We got... Oh, my, that's what makes sense. We've got an outpost coming up. Very interesting. We've got an English tower rush coming yes, through sir. with the men at arms. Is this what? the new Mongols that we're seeing right now live? It feels like we're seeing the new Mongols here. You know, what's what's quite interesting about the Men at Arms, from the theory testing that I've been doing, the only way that you can counter a Men at Arms, at least in the Dark Age, is with other Men at Arms. There's no other way to do it. Even an outpost to defend against uh, Men at Arms on this gold vein, it's just not viable. Just simply because you get idled out. Uh, the, the Men at Arms are just way too good at, at idling the economy. They, they don't take a lot of damage. So, yeah, it's a, it's a really interesting unit and in, in, uh, composition in the early game. But look at this. Fresh air, looking to try and strike upon this wood line without the knowledge whatsoever of Faye. Faye just chilling out for the moment, scouting on the other side of the map. Picks up a single sheep. You have to scout the back of her own base. So I don't even think... Does she even know? She doesn't even know about the gold in the back of her base. So she's really just stuck between uh, this gold on the front, maybe the, the other gold to the side. I mean, she's got plenty of gold around her base. Over here, there's a nice little double. Look at this right here. Throw the mining camp down right there. Uh, but the other thing to note is that you're not going to be able to take stone. So... Still, Faye under, under siege on the front. Economic wing going to be the, her choice of uh, wing. And I think that makes a lot of sense, especially in this matchup. You want to try and, and keep up with the English. There's a high likelihood that they're going to be going for a separate town center. Or, or whether it's like King's Palace or just adding in the second town center. But Excuse me! What are these Abbasid voices? Who who approved these? Like, who is the guy at Microsoft? He's like, I'm the, I'm the chief sound engineer. Uh, it's my, uh, my responsibility to make sure all of the voice lines are reasonable. And then, like, that was... He's like, yep, that that's it. That's the one. Perfect. That's it. That's a wrap, folks. Really? <laughs> like, really? That's what you've got? Um, maybe maybe four or five seconds too long, but... Anyway. Anyway, we move forward. It's going to be a stable and an archery range. So, expect to see 
probably some archers, maybe, maybe a horseman or two. Uh, obviously, camels are really good in this situation, but my suspicion is that we're not going to see more than two men at arms, at least not for a while, and it is going to be archers coming out. And uh, Faye continuing just to scout out, pick up those sheep, and now the outpost going to get discovered here. This men at arms looking to try and provide line of sight in here. Uh, the scout... On the other side of the map for the moment, we'll need to come back if it wants to provide that line of sight. You can see right there, the men at arms doing the doing the, the hard lifting. That villager might need to move around towards the north and uh, and and try and expose out those enemy villagers. But there's the villagers now moving on to stone. So Faye having a bit of a tough opening here. Let's ride back, right on board with fresh air. As we do see, it's going to be a council hall and it's getting rushed up. A lot of vills here rushing this up. Only 100, wood, 100 gold in the bank. So probably a double broad axe might be on the way through. Now, I don't think we've got a mill yet. No, no mill at this stage. And there's that second town center coming through as we suspected. So economic wing here going to make a lot of sense for Faye. Question is, how many TCs does she look to go into? I would expect it probably around that three, maybe even a four uh, town centers. Just because the more town centers you make... Obviously, the better you're going to be scaling. But against the English, they're known for their booming. They, they love to boom. So how many TCs can you get away with? I think that's probably going to be the question. Look at this. We've got a stable coming down from Fresh Air. Definitely not something I would have expected. And look at Fresh Air. Just It, it is really right now pl role playing as the Mongols here. Looking to try and get another outpost down. This is going to be the end of the outpost offensive, though. That is for sure. Fresh Air. Unfortunately, the rain going to be coming to an end here. Heading out into the sunshine, but another man at arms towards the front. Outpost still locking down this position. Arrow slit's going to be coming through. Not a whole lot of line of sight, but it's achieved its job, right? Like, it's forced Faye back towards this northern side. It's also resulted in the lumber camp coming out and a lot of travel time from those villages, but second town center going to be coming through shortly. Where's that fertile crescent? Where's that fertile crescent, Faye? Come on, let me see it. Click it. Click it. Is she able to afford it? Yeah, she's able to afford it. Also got fresh foodstuffs here, which is quite expensive. Uh, so, yeah. It's, it's, to me, it's interesting that fresh foodstuffs still cost so much resources. That's a, compared to all the other, like, feudal age technologies, I don't know, it feels a bit expensive. But anyway, look, look at the sheep that we've got back here. Fresh Air having a, a field day. Second Town Center about to get dropped down for Fresh Air. Where's it going to go down? Though? I, I would suspect, I mean, you'd normally want to throw it down on gold. But I guess the, yeah, the other option is back down here, somewhere ni nice and safe. Guarantee that gold a little bit longer. But the battering ram has taken out... That forward outpost. And remember, there was uh, arrow slits in here as well. And now looking to come through. Faye going to try and clean this position up. Second town center for Faye. Nowhere to be seen at this point in time. Just primarily because she spent all of that wood on the battering ram. 250 wood going towards that. So we'll set it behind a little bit here. And a lot of resources invested in just dealing with this aggression. And I think, you know, this is something that we've seen in multiple games here. We saw, this ga we saw that in uh, the game that Snooper played where it went for the House of Wisdom uh, in the middle of the map where players are just kind of like pushing out with early aggression, trying to commit as little resources as possible with early aggression, and at the same time, expanding behind it. And that's exactly what we see coming out of Fresh Air. So Fresh Air going to be doing something similar in, in that there was two men at arms, two outposts attempted to get up, and then behind it, expanding out with the town centers. So how many more town centers do we see coming out from Fresh Air? I suspect that's probably going to be it. And then we'll probably see the King's Palace. So a total of three. But remember that Faye on the other side of the map has got access to that fertile te crescent technology, which reduces the cost down of town centers. So I would be saying from Faye's perspective, you probably want to go to about four TCs, I, th I think is the, the correct number. The thing is you want to avoid... <laughs> you want to avoid uh, dying to a push. I, th I think that's probably the, the, the biggest thing. When it comes to the English, I feel like you, if English go castle here for men at arms, that's probably going to be your biggest problem because English men at arms are a lot better against the Abbasid dynasty than a civilization like the Holy Roman Empire. Just simply because the Holy Roman Empire get extra damage against heavy units, which is good, except if you're in the feudal age, you don't have any heavy, heavy units. Whereas English men at arms get extra armor. And that extra two armor is going to make all the difference when it comes to camels. You know, if you've got a camel with, say, 12 damage or 13 damage or something like that, and the men-at-arms has got eight armor versus, say, six armor, that's a pretty big difference. So it can mean that fresh air could roll over the top of Faye if she's not careful. So she's always going to have to be very aware of a potential uh, for aging up. So uh, I would almost be tempted to say to Faye, like, maybe it's a good idea to think about getting some walls up just in case the enemy does look to go Castle Age, but I'd, I'd probably be waiting. Once the Castle Age comes through, that's when I would be uh, getting the walls up. Before then, 
probably don't need them at this point. Just got pretty good line of sight, pretty good control with um, with the the villagers. But take a look at the vill count. Faye still f not not necessarily falling behind. She's keeping up. It's just that she is behind. Only one villager lost a piece so far. But upgrades now starting to come through. Wheelbarrow going to be on the way for Faye. Back on the other side of the map though, fresh air. Just notably not investing in either uh, gold nor stone. So obviously stone for that second TC, gold for that age up. Nothing coming through at all. No no age ups, no upgrades, no nothing. We don't even have as much as a double broad axe, as much as a... There's no, no mills out here at the moment. Where is, where is Fresh Air spending all their resources? That's what I want to know because, I mean, we've got units out on the field, but it doesn't feel particularly overwhelming here. Horseman numbers also looking pretty good. Might have to think about a racks. In fact, we've already got the racks, so might have to think about some spears. And now we do see spears coming out onto the field. So Fresh Air going to be looking to try and push down the center of the map. See what damage they can do to Faye. Right on board with Faye. And watch how she looks to defend this. Because this is going to be tough for her. She was stack starting to stack up that gold. Maybe working towards something like... Well, she's already picked up her fresh foodstuffs. So maybe some more upgrades. Maybe even a castle age. But Arch is going to be pushing up here. I like the archer mass coming through from Faye. Remember, archers work really, really well in this situation. Because they're faster than the longbows. The archers have got a movement speed of 1.25 compared to the longbows with 1.12. So as long as you can outnumber them, it feels good. But oh, look at this pathing. Terrible pathing for Faye right there. Spears are going to have a, an absolute field day. With any of these, uh, any of these horsemen that uh, that don't manage to, uh, to 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 get taken out by the longbows, but nice solid little defense there from Fresh Air, working back towards the reinforcements. Still a lack of spears. I'd love to see that second second barracks coming up and more of a heavy kind of like spear longbow composition. The horsemen's a bit of a question mark for me, just simply because of the movement speed on the archers. It kind of makes them a little bit less relevant. And Horseman continuing to move forward. And Faye definitely doing a great job of defending here. Keep in mind, both players still on two TCs at this point, which means that Faye's not going to necessarily be scaling until that third town center is in. But take a look at the resources. She's got enough. And in fact, she's actually forgotten about the fact that she's got Fertile Crescent. Her town centers aren't going to be costing 350 stone to drop down. They're only 262 stone. So she's she's almost... I mean, she's not halfway there, but she's about a third of a way there towards a, an additional town center after that one. But there's the third TC coming in now. Let's take a look at this position. Beautiful spot over here on this east side. Look at the resources that we've got access to. Berries, deer, stone, and of course wood. Obviously can't take the ball because we're playing the Abbasid, but hey, it's a, it's a nice little it's a nice little thing to throw in. <laughs> Battering ram getting uh, getting some use here, taking out a lumber camp for of a uh, well of a forest that has one that is long gone. Let's just put it that way. So yeah, interesting use of the battering ram, uh, but at the end of the day, I mean, there's not much you can really do with a battering ram like that. Uh, to be honest, I, I just kind of keep it and let it chill. You know, you can hang out at the farms until I need you. Because there, there will become there will be a point in the game where you know there's an outpost over on this flank. You're playing against the English, right? So the likelihood that you see outposts on flanks is pretty high. They do like to spread that network of castles uh, aura around. But when it comes to age ups, still no one really looking towards it. We do see upgrades finally coming through now for Faye. I say finally coming through. Faye's been picking up her upgrades. It's fresh air that's been sitting kind of behind the uh, the eight ball when it comes to the upgrades. I'm curious what the production's looking like. We do have farms being dropped down. But where are these resources being spent? This is this is kind of wild to me. Like, obviously, it's just the, the units that are, are coming out right now. Obviously, the two town centers working towards it as well. But now the gold going to get taken. Six vills. And it's on the backside as well. So it's going to be harder to scout. Six vills is a lot of vills. We got four vills also. So this definitely seems like Castle Age coming through. Do we see more farms? Yeah, okay. This is Castle Age. So more farms coming in. Uh, so this is, this is definitely a Castle Age uh, to me. Uh, I'd like to see wheelbarrow and, and horticulture before the castle age. Just going to help a lot with the economy. The Ville's heading back towards the town center. That third town center is exposed. We don't know how much Fresh Air knows about the economy of Faye. I don't know whether uh, Fresh Air knows about that, that second town center, but the triple unit composition coming out. Doing GUA proud here. Fresh Air pushing out while also looking to age up. You can see the resources... Looking pretty solid at the moment for fresh air. Great little spread of, on, on the resources. One of the things that, uh, that frustrate me greatly... And, oh, gosh, look at that. Double barracks archery range. Yeah, one of the things that frustrates me greatly about this map is just how much of the wood is just spread out absolutely everywhere. You've just got to really remain on your toes and constantly be looking for new sources. And that hurts. It hurts a lot. Uh, it, it, it makes it very difficult to manage. Uh, interestingly, Fade is going to stick on three raxes here. 
or three yard, uh, three TC. So I would have thought going up to four TCs just makes a bit more sense because then that way you're at least scaling into the late, late game a little bit faster uh, than the English player. And then you're getting better value from your Fertile Crescent as well. Uh, I think the most important thing here for Faye, as I mentioned earlier, is not going castle before your enemy. And then once they hit castle, making sure that you've got those walls up just to try and keep yourself safe from better arms because they are going to push. Hopefully once the age up comes through, Faye's also going to be looking to apply some pressure here with the horsemen just to try and keep her enemy on that side of the map because... It, it, it's i mean we, we saw the uh we saw the barracks getting thrown down here and the upgrades for the men at arms are coming through so fresh air knows exactly what's up fresh air knows what he's doing uh, and it, of course it is going to be the king's palace on the age up uh so matching that's that third town center of Faye here uh still got a little bit of a view lead though but uh numbers looking pretty decent at the moment for fresh air and Faye definitely thinking about aging up herself uh, now gonna be looking to shut down this outpost on the front line villager gets destroyed an outpost not going to get cancelled in time so it's going to be a bit of a loss of wood right here and the age up about to come through the first upgrade of the game coming through for fresh air that is a breath of fresh air that is to say the least it's going to just simply be the double broad axe we also see veterancy coming through on the longbowman going to be researched at the council hall for that double speed remember that council hall axes two archery ranges or produces it at twice the speed but military wing coming in definitely the right choice and there's the walls so as as, uh, as, I guess, not predicted, but as advised, <laughs> Faye has listened to me. Uh, and this is de this is definitely the right decision because you, you need to buy, buy yourself time before you can uh, get up to the castle age, before you can get to those crossbowmen. That's, that's going to be your key unit here, crossbows, because obviously Fresh Air recognizes that, hey, you've got a hard... You, you, dealing with men-at-arms right now is difficult for you. Uh, and so, yeah, if, if I'm Faye, I'm, I'm looking to, to drop down uh, my own archery rangers but she's going to go with more barracks. So let's take a look and see what her base is looking like at the moment because it's quite a bit of production here. So three barracks, two rangers, and three stables. So pretty good numbers. Now, one of the mistakes that a lot of people will make when they're aging up as the Abyssin is they don't make units. Ooh, I'll tell you what, that's a mistake right there. You're walking into danger. Um, if, if you don't make units when you're aging up and you're saving all your resources for your castle age units, it makes sense, right? But the problem is that you're going to be losing out on a lot of your potential mass here. Horseman going to be moving out. Faye going to be looking to push up. We head into the cinematic mode as Faye actually looks to loop around the back. Going up against the veteran units of her opponent. Those archers not able to do too much damage. Remember, they're only doing one damage to the men-at-arms. A beautiful little spot back here. We also see the palings getting thrown down. And Faye, I'm getting a little bit worried because these men-at-arms, they might look like they're uh, surrounded. But let me tell you right now, these guys hit hard. Outpost comes up. Network of castles now going to be providing that extra little bit of bonus damage or a little bit of bonus attack speed in the men at arms on the front line. Remember, the castle age is still yet to come through. Did he just knock out the sheep? I can't believe you did him like that, you monster. But now th this, is the, this is the part where we're into trouble, trouble territory. This is where, uh, as I mentioned before, I would have loved to have had walls up uh, over this entire base. Phase slowly put walls in. The age up comes through. Expect to see crossbowmen immediately made. And there it is, the first one in queue. There's the barracks. Actually, there's more barracks that's just being thrown down. Uh, going into men at arms a couple camel riders pop out i think just very low health there's more crossbows coming through now really needs to start making as many crossbows as possible maybe even some knights just to help clear out these men at arms on the sides but definitely a nice little push coming through from fresh air i'm loving the way they're utilizing these outposts and slowly pushing up with them i do note that there's also stone that's getting mined at the moment which could mean sprinkled emplacements and that's definitely going to help fresh air on these pushes Men at arm numbers. Just kind of chilling out at nine. Obviously, Fresh Air realized there was a window to push with men at arms. Phase aged up pretty quickly uh, in response. And uh, the, the the window for men at arms is kind of non-existent now. Obviously, English men at arms are still good throughout the game. They've got that extra armor. But at the end of the day, uh, there's probably more effective combos you can be going. Uh, obviously, you guys will know that I, I love my, uh, my crossbow knight composition against the abyssid it's probably not advisable just simply because their their spearman is so good when you combine things like the military wing and the the, the boot camp technology with say the technology at the barracks for phalanx now you start having some really good spearmen that you've got to go up against so it's definitely one of those civilizations that you can't really play standard when it comes to your compositions you now see those emplacements coming through sprinkled emplacements on both of these outposts third one yet to receive the upgrade but now Faye going to be looking to push back these units. Not a lot of crossbows coming out now from Fresh Air. 
He's, he's sitting on nine. Actually, hold on a minute. Was I, I was, was I looking at the wrong thing the whole time? I'm pointing to fresh air. I'm like, yeah, making the crossbows, getting those crossbows in. Meanwhile, here's Faye over here with two crossbows in queue and hasn't made any crossbows. Jeez, Drongo, you're a Drongo. <laughs> Uh, you want to know why it probably is? I think it's because, like, the, they, they spawn in on top of each other. So it, it's hard going left to right. And I think my brain was just kind of, like, defaulting uh, to the left side. So I apologize for that. I'm sure I'm going to get called out in the comments for that. So uh, sorry, sorry. I, I should have realized that uh, there's there's no crossbows being added to this, this mass of men at arms that are coming through. All right. Well, the mangonel's going to start getting dropped down. Two mangonels. A very meaningful amount of mangonels. Ideally, you want to try and get them up before these units can get through. Let's take a look at Fresh Air and see what he spots. He sees something being built. Now that Manganel, it's almost complete. He's going to turn around and go, Whoop, mm -mm. oh, this could be trouble. Men at Arms coming through. Manganel going to be firing off. Beautiful splits. Look at the splits coming out from Fresh Air. My God, is that Marine Lord in disguise? Fresh Air, you are indeed a breath of Fresh Air. That was beautiful stuff. A little bit of an attack over towards that west side. It's going to be a villager going down to what appears to be a cross or to a, uh, a horseman. At least that, that's what the damage numbers were. Let's take a look and see. That oh, was just a villager with its shift. Probably about the same damage as the villager with its shift. Mangadel's pushing up. A lot of health taken off this mango. We do see Vils now pulled for Faye. Villager numbers looking really good for both of these guys. Both of these gals. Uh, because we're over 100 now. 21 minute mark. Not a bad little timing. And whose position's better at this point? I mean... You've got an English player who's pushed up and about to drop a keep down somewhere on this map. I know for sure there's... Oh, gosh, there's the keep. Oh, Lord, that's a lot of villagers as well. That's 19 villagers pushing this keep up. In, just simply because of this fact, my opinion now changes to I think Fresh Air is in a really good position. This this keep is really, really detrimental to the position of Faye. Just simply because she's wide open right now when it comes to her defense. There's nothing here to stop all of these attacks from coming through. And sure, you've got a nice little flanky maneuver over on this side. But at the end of the day, I mean, what it's all about is this. This right here, if you're able to secure trebuchets on those landmarks, it's all over Red Rover for the Abbasid. Let's have a look and see how Faye pulls off the defense. We've got the battering rams. Nowhere to be seen. I take it back. There's the there's the battering ram. Uh, Mangadel's looking to move forward and try and deal with those ranged units. So probably going to have to head towards this keep and look to try and take it out. Where are these villagers going? The villagers now moving forward. You look at this house of wisdom and you just think, oh, this is. It looks like a keep, doesn't it? Like the the way it holds itself, the way it uh, <laughs> the way it sits. It kind of it look it has that look of a keep. But look at the outposts that are going through the base here. And now we see Faye going to be responding with uh, just a bit of a a, a military response. Outpost does get up, looking to try and provide further, I suspect, further line of sight on just production, maybe? Siege Workshop has gone up, and Fresh Air just looking to try and get that steamroller going all over the top now. Up, up 18 villages. Relics are starting to get picked up as well. We do see one relic on the way back in. Look at that. Found that, that relic almost immediately. Outpost going down. They're going to be looking to drop down some outposts herself for the defense. And up towards the north, it looks like the last of the villages did get cleaned up. So it's going to mean no more outposts. And slowly but steadily, this outpost will get taken out. Fresh air stacking up a little bit of wood. We see more sprinkled emplacements coming through. Slowly but steadily, adding more and more in. And who's going to be the first one to make trebuchets? That's the question. We know that Siege is out for both of these players at this point. Crossbow, longbow, number. Push, oh, crossbow, crossbow, longbow uh, composition pushing in. Now this... this Unit comp has been called bulletproof before. We did watch a game where we watched this unit composition just absolutely dodge mangonel shots left, right, and center. It may again happen today. So Faye is really looking to try and hold on, stacking up about two and a half thousand gold. Macro gone out the window a little bit here, but that's to be expected when you've got enemy units in your base. Trebuchet slowly working down this keep. It's got two shots off so far. Third shot, not going to be successful. As we do see, the, the trebuchet is taken away, but now you've got a little bit of a problem, Fresh Air, because you've moved into the base. The question is, why is Faye yet to react to this? Faye's got the ability to respond here, and yet we don't see it. Second treb coming out, still continuing to focus down that first treb. And just camping the production now. This is not good for Faye. I'm a little bit worried. Because remember, behind this, I, I suspect there's probably trebuchets going to be coming out for Fresh Air. There, there has to be some form of siege to begin working its way on this House of Wisdom. Where are those mangonels? Mangonels still yet to make the rotation. Village is going to have to run away. And now everybody evacuating from the back of the base. All of these farmers are going to have to run away as well. 
Get out of there, girls. Get out of there, guys. Treb's going to be losing their life. There's the third Treb that's coming out. A little bit of a defense. Veterancy coming through on the archers, but when you've got men at arms with this much armor, archers are a little bit, a little bit irrelevant. Well, a lot irrelevant, I'd, I'd be tempted to say. And still continuing to move these villagers outside the, the wall. You, you'd think inside the wall is typically the safer option, but uh, in this case, it's going to be outside the wall. And more vills going down. Oh, this is terrible for Faye. Look how many vills she's lost. 61 worker kills at the moment now for Fresh Air. Fresh Air having an absolute field day in the base. Now, this is this is part of the reason why I advocate for more town centers as Abbasid, because it means that you're able to rebuild more quickly. You're able, you, instead of building three villages every 20 seconds, you're building four villages every 20 seconds. So it's that, that small little difference. It's part of the reason why, why in like Age of Empires 2, you'll see players go up to eight or nine town centers. And if they ever get raided, it's just they're, they're so insulated from it uh, with, with their village accounts. But uh, slowly and steadily, Fresh Air is looking to stabilize the position. Upgrades are coming through. We do see the classic 25-minute wheelbarrow for Fresh Air. i got to be honest, I'm impressed that Fresh Air gets to rank 31 on the ladder and still researches wheelbarrow at 25 minutes. That's kind of wild, isn't it? I mean, I don't mean to diss Fresh Air right now, but like... You're playing the English. If there's a civilization that benefits from the wheelbarrow, it is the English with their just endless farming. Their endless farms. Keep does go down. Face defense holds on. She's down. Look at the score difference, though, between these two. Just remember, though, the, the village account will rise up again. As long as she's able to defend. She's focusing, receiving relentless attacks now. Over on this eastern front, constant attacks. I tell you what, just... Uh, Think about how easy it would have been to get a wall up here. And then how much time that buys you with all these responses. Because you can see now that this siege is slowly but steadily going to be working to respond here. If there was just a wall up that you had to siege your way through, well, I can tell you right now, you, would, you wouldn't be going through. You'd probably just be falling back. It buys you so much time. And now that, those town centers are going to be under pressure. Fayon's 78 villagers. Going to be forced back away from this position. We see more men at arms and crossbows running in towards these farms. This is starting to get real tough for Faye. I'm starting to worry. Wingard Palace about to be completed. Where's that Wingard Palace? I don't actually see it. Is it in the middle of the map? Oh, it's over here. So the Wingard Palace gets completed. And now... Now we're really starting to see the power of the English. I think people are working out how to play them. It's a little bit more like a Mongol style that you've got to be playing with the English. And it, it seems weird. But it works. It works really well. I think that that Fresh Air was able to put Faye onto the back foot early on in this game and just bought themselves so much time. Still dealing with these constant attacks. Moss going to come down, finally looking to clear out that relic. And, and what does... Oh, look at this. Take a look at this. We've got a cavalry switch. It's a big cavalry switch as well. Fresh Air. Going to be going for the Wingard Raiders. This is this was my theory with regard to this... this, uh, this army. It's just designed to switch. All you want to do is you switch into it like this. You're making full infantry and then you get to Imperial. Bam. You get your elite upgrades. You get your enclosures and you start making huge amounts of cavalry and your enemy's sitting there preparing for your crossbows and your spears and your longbows and all of a sudden, boom. You get hit in the face with all that cavalry. But Faye, trying her best to keep her head above water. She's down 70 villagers. And while that might seem like a lot, and it is, uh, at the same time... Oh my, look at this read coming through from Faye. Hold on. How does Faye know? Such a smart, such good game sense right now. Uh, th this is impressive. Phalanx veteran spears coming through. So probably just going to be doing the math and say, okay, Imperial came through. It's likely that we're going to see the Raiders coming in. And as a result, immediately starts working towards spears. Look at this. Three spears at the moment on the board for Faye. Still going to continue working towards it. Such a good read by Faye. Question is going to be whether she can do it in time. Because look, we got round number two coming in. I say round number two. I mean, to be honest, these guys have gone at it probably about 15 times this game. This is round number 16. That's a lot of cavalry. And those are elite knights as well. You're talking nine elite knights. Veteran horsemen, nine of them as well up against three spears. You gotta be careful, Faye. You gotta be careful. I'm worried, Faye. Oh, not like this, but it's okay. He's going, he's going for a raid. He's going for a raid. Uh, Fresh Air looking to, to bide the time a little bit longer. Doesn't want to directly engage. Horsemen moving to the to the right. Knights moving to the left. So many units just in this base. The constant raids have been absolutely disgusting. Now we got to keep coming down over on this western side. Bit of a curious spot, but it does make a lot of sense. If, if you can look to control that area, you can deny a lot of it from your enemy. 
Where are those spears? We need those spears. Up to nine spears, slowly but steadily increasing in spear number. I'm starting to worry for Faye. I don't, I don't think it's looking pretty. There's a lot of siege here. I think that that's the one thing she's got going for her. She's got a lot of siege. Three, three mangonels, three trebs. Wait, I take that back. Four mangonels, two trebs. The issue that you're going to have is that your enemies just... I, I, I'm going to be honest. Fresh Air is looking very, very good. I don't know who Fresh Air is, but Fresh Air is a very good player. Uh, that is for sure. Shattering projectiles now going to be coming in for Fresh Air as well. And it looks like we've got a bit of an attack in the middle of the map. We've got... Are these Wingard Rangers? No, they're not. They're just, they're just hand cannoneers. Just standard hand cannoneers, Drongo. Calm down. Get off, get off your high horse, mate. And good game gets called. Faye says, you know what? I couldn't do it. The new Mongols are too strong. Wait, no, that's the English. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you've enjoyed this casted game. Go check out Faye. I'm going to leave a link in the description to where you can catch her live. Let's take a little bit of a look at the timeline and just see how much damage was done in this game. It all came down to this point right here. And I can't help but feel like it was the lack of walls. You know, we saw the age up come through from, from fresh air and it just felt like walls were such a necessary thing. And unfortunately, they were neglected, at least at the front of the base. And they just buy so much time. And you know, your enemy gets through those walls. You just rebuild them. You just rebuild them. You just put, get some villagers. You just rebuild it on the front. So well played over to Fresh Air. Well played to Faye. But unfortunately, not her day today. Anyways, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching.